Hey good people, what's going on? Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Joy here with you. I'll be doing a fragrance review today, as usual, just like I do every day almost. And it's my pleasure. It's my absolute pleasure. So I'll be talking about the house of Versace. And Versace house, as you guys know, I own quite a bit. I mean, almost all the mainstream ones from designer line anyway. And uh, most of, mostly all men's fragrances. So today, the one I'll be reviewing, it's a blast from the past. It's actually from the year 1994. How many of you were born in that year, right? And um, it's like I have sentimental like links to this uh, fragrance because I have gone through multiple bottles of it. And the fragrance is none other than Versace Blue Jeans. Okay, this is from the jeans line. You must, if you do not know already, they have quite a few fragrances from this jeans line. They have baby blue jeans, green jeans, red jeans. They have black jeans. I think few, five to six jeans series, but most of them are very difficult to find. The blue and the red, red ones for women, are still available in the market and they are not very expensive. So they come in 75 ml bottle only, as far as I know, and they can vary from 15 pounds all the way to your 20 to 30 pounds, okay? So anyway, let's review this fragrance and let's talk about it. I think this would be a hidden gem sort of a fragrance, I, I would feel anyway, and I'll let you know everything you need to know about this fragrance. So uh, I told you bottle size, prices, uh, concentration is EDT and uh, it's a uh, mostly evening nighttime wearing and i would say it's a uh, cold weather scent okay so here is the packaging it comes in it almost is like uh lamal jean paul gautier lamal they have also this cans uh, but this one is not as big as those so it's a very nice artistic sort of a box if you haven't seen it already versace blue jeans 75 mil edt a lot of artistic uh, graphics on this all right so let's turn it you also see that some man is sitting there. It's beautiful. It's just very poetic. It's almost like art, piece of art on this. The, you know, the what do you call that? The drawings and the graphics on this pretty artistic. So I really love about this. It's very beautiful to look at. It's almost like if you are a fan of a lot of the rings or, you know, um, like uh, movies like that, right? So anyway, let's check this fragrance out, okay? So one thing to notice also, sorry, here is the head of the lion. I think that's what they came in like before and bottom it says made in Italy. All right, hold on. Yeah, sorry, something was bothering me. Let's, I think it's, hope it's fixed. Anyway, so the thing is this and I have one other, I told you I use multiple bottle, bottles of it. I have one of the boxes from the previous ones, but I don't own the bottle. I'm using it. This is a very handy, by, handy by the way. If you see inside, it's not very secure. It has some paper, uh, like a protection inside but if you drop the bottle i'm not sure if it's gonna survive it but i use the other one as a you know holder for pen and stuff you'll see you see i put my scissors and other stuff so the back in the time it says used to say versus here you know and this new ones i think it says versace that's the only difference apart from uh, the, that one and other things are all same right so perfume wise i think they didn't change much i mean i could be wrong you can let me know and here's the bottle it's a very uh beautiful bottle i really love this bottle juice color is dark blue okay it's like this it says blue jeans the name of the fragrance and this lion head on top of the cap not very heavy cap light cap black but i really like this part it's attention to details and all this part here it's raised just like if you see versace the arrows i think they also have this raised the medusa head but this is actually more like a lion head all right so you see the raised this is also raised okay there you go then the if I if I show you the bottle, it's like this. Slowly I'll show you. It's very much like as I told you, Lord of the Rings, you know, it's like very artistic fragrance from 90s. So this is basically 90s in a bottle. And I know my good friend Chris from Scentland may be watching this. He loves this house and this fragrance. So hi Chris, how are you doing? <laughs> so he's one of my favorite reviewers, by the way. Scentland, he's epic. I cannot I don't have any other words to describe his channel. He's just everything like you need to know about a fragrance, A to Z, he will review some awesome fragrances here's the sticker and everything so this one um, not very heavy bottle but it's beautiful bottle so i think for the presentation i give this like 10 beautiful presentation artistic so as far as the smell goes all right i have it on my hand spray is all right let's spray this again okay spray is okay not bad let's go to spray so the notes in this i'm not gonna say i get I remember all the notes and everything but this is a kind of a fragrance it's called complex if you see a lot of fragrances today grapefruit uh, citrus a lot of this fragrance are so simple you can smell every single note very easily but 
this fragrance what happens is if you smell it for the first time if you haven't smelled it already you'll be like okay this is a weird one <laughs> first thing that will come to your mind it could be for good one good way it could be bad way because i have multiple reactions from this fragrance as you can understand i wore this from like my university early life i went through two bottles of it one of my sri lankan friends uh, i tried it from for the first time it was very uh, I, I fell in love with this instantly because it smells very posh very beautiful it was projecting on him very beautifully and i think this ideal fragrance for a man who's looking for something different but i got also reactions like dude what did you spray i cannot breathe in the car because the air conditioning is making me choke because it's that strong and i just wore one spray of it so he was like hell no because it has this powdery aspect so it's pretty much like a daring side like mugley angel man if you think angel man is kind of like complex one this is also a complex one but very beautiful juice so now my second bottle i think i bought it because my first bottle ran out i went with the second bottle which also finished in 2016 i left that bottle in malaysia this one i just got recently in bangladesh so as i told you prices are not very expensive you can find it pretty much 10 15 dollars also if you look for bargain bin you know overseas but uh, look to pay about 15 pounds all the way to maybe a uh, 20 25 pounds depends so now the strength let me talk about performance this is a great performer it lasts do not go trigger happy with this if you do you're gonna make it you're gonna suffer and you're gonna make other people suffer go minimal i just give one spray on the back of my neck or one on the chest or maybe two on two arms that's it maximum two sprays with this i think also women can wear it even though it's for men i am not very big fan of versace red jeans which i also reviewed i think one or two years back you can check that out that review that's for women that has a beautiful rose note but after that dry down i do not like it much this i love the opening i love the meat i love the all of it dry down of it as well but today if you are fan of savage dylan blue a lot of this uh, trend going on today oud maybe you will find it like very weird and something totally unique that is one factor it could be good it could be bad and uh, try before you buy do not blind buy this because it's cheap right even if it's five dollars do not blind buy stuff so the thing is what notes i get from it opening it has that back in the time i couldn't tell you when i was not a fragr fragrance bro i would be like clueless i'll be like this smells weird but nice that's the only thing i could tell you today maybe looking at fragrantica some get some idea look at some other reviews i get some idea and then after smelling a lot of other fragrances you can put it in a comparison but i'll still say pretty pretty unique it has a opening of beautiful calibre and bergamot and it has sort of feel like dior eau sauvage the way it opens but totally different sense but that the the bergamot the the citrus aspect of it it's not just like a watery citrus that one let me show you this has some darker uh, opening it's not lemon based scent but that opening of it if you like that kind of calibre and bergamot or citrus this has that kind of citrus but it also has tons of other notes what i get from this is there's a rose note in there there is a uh, maybe something sharp like you know uh, what you call something green in this like uh, i'm not quite sure what this is i could smell almost like juniper berries maybe but i'm not sure if it's listed it also has some vanilla it has some lavender heavy dose of lavender which gives it like powdery feel to it and also i think there's heliotrope heliotrope it gives you that dreamy sort of a uh, like a how to say powdery effect which almost like a talcum powder but not in a bad way okay so thing is when to wear it cold weather this is not a summer fragrance which i used in malaysia for i used it 20 like 24 hours <laughs> i used it like uh, 12 months a uh, year but i think this would be perfect for a cooler evening it will develop nicely as you desire but if you wear it in high heat in daytime this can be nice but if it's too hot it's gonna get too powdery too choking if you're inside the air condition zone like a you know atmosphere is like kind of cool inside your workplace you can wear it but go only one spray everybody can around you can notice it okay so performance is very good smell wise it's different unique if you ask me jenny bird such as time what else is good say so this too very daring very beautiful and if you can understand the complexity of these two fragrances this verse such as a dreamer tobacco based this is not tobacco based but these two i find they're inexpensive and they are 100 ml no sorry this is 100 ml this is 75 but the feel i get from these two fragrances from versace i do not get from the modern fragrances i tell you that much so you have to try different things it may work for you may not work for you but i have sentimental values to it so i'm going to be very biased when i rate it 
I'll tell you my rating. I'll tell you in general where it stands in crowd of thousand other fragrances. So now longevity, pretty good, eight out of 10. Projection, 8.5 out of 10. Uh, uniqueness, 10. There's nothing like it today in today's market. And uh, it may catch you off guard, you know, because tons of notes, very complex, and it will not be like a synthetic, typical, one more grapefruit scent, okay? This is an artistic fragrance. So uh, versatility, I think it will be like only for good for cooler summer nights also you can wear it, but it has to be breezy, it has to be cool. You get the idea, not so much humidity. Uh, gender, you can both genders can wear it, work appropriate, okay, but I think ideal for uh, date. You know, if you're going for date night, you can wear it, people will smell it on you, they will think it, it, it worth hundred dollars plus that's the best part about this and uh, if you're just tired of all your other same old same old fragrance tonka bean diorome like or savage like blue de chanel like try this one this is blue in juice color but there's nothing blue about it it's a beautiful floral uh powdery um it's it's it's, it's a weird one i gotta admit it it's just a weird one <laughs> and it's a very much love it or hate it kind of fragrance but I love this juice guys it's who I wore it a lot so I think uh, for the smell in my book this is 10 but where it stands in the whole crowd maybe 7 out of 10 like uh, like to be fair okay so overall this fragrance I think uh, I'm gonna give this for people recommendation I'll give this 7.5 out of 10 okay but in my books it's pretty much like 9 okay because I love it that much and for the price I cannot complain performs really well it's just uh, not your typical uh, like other fragrances. So it's still available. Check it out, Versace Blue Jeans. A lot of memories with this fragrance, okay? So if you ever ever tried it, do let us know in the comment section how you liked it. Take care, guys. That's all I have for you today. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.